Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Duena, aka Glamazon 1026 and you are entering the glam room. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new, thank you so much for joining me. If you're not new, I really appreciate you guys sitting down, taking time out to watch little old me, well, big old me's video. And today we're gonna get right into it. We have something special for you today. I'm going to be doing this last look of the summer kind of video and we're going to be using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette to complete it. This is my first time using this palette, by the way. So if you wanna see how this palette performs and how I got this look to come together, stay tuned. We're starting this tutorial with my eyelids already prepped and primed. I've laid down my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. Not because I think that these colors are going to need help with pigmentation. I just wanted to do something different with my eyebrows and I needed a concealer bright enough to conceal my actual hairs because I was not going to shave them off. All right, here we go. So look at this beautiful palette. This is the Urban Decay born to run. I'm not usually impressed with Urban Decay shadows, I mean palettes, but this one really caught my eye so I made sure that I picked it up during the VIB sale. Starting with Still Shot, which is this nice peachy color and I'm putting that in my transition space. I'm taking Weekender and I'm going to put that right on top of the brow bone because I don't like how the white is showing up under this um, pinkish color. So I'm just gonna cover that up with Weekender. I'm gonna pick up Baja with that same brush and I'm going to put that lower into my transition area and almost into my crease. So now we're gonna take a punk right here. I'm still going to use that MAC 217 and I'm going to put that in my outer corner and bring it over into my crease. So lately I've been making paste with whatever concealer I'm using that day and the NYX mixing medium to lay down my shimmers. So I'm about to do that now with the NARS Radiant Creamy in the color Chantilly. So I am going to mix two shimmers for the lid color today. And I think I'm gonna go a little bit wet since this is the last hurrah for the summer. I'm gonna put on radio first and then closer to my inner corner, I'm going to put on big sky. Now I'm just blending the blues in with the browns. Since they're such different colors, they just need to be blended a little bit better than I would say if this was a gold into a brown. Okay, so now that we finished the top, I'm gonna go underneath and do the same exact thing. You know I don't ever do anything like different. I never do like pops of color on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take Prank again, sorry, Punk, on this small pencil brush, and I'm putting it right underneath
Now I'm taking my Morph M433 and adding Baja and Still Shot on it to blend out that brown. Then I'm just going to put on some mascara and lashes and I'll meet you guys again when I'm zoomed out so that we can finish off the face. I already put on my blush and my contour. I used the ABH Blush Trio in the shade Cocktail Party in Vegas for contouring and scorching for blush. I also have on Crazy Essentials lashes in the style L and I think like L is that girl open. Okay. I love these lashes. Anyway, if you want 20% off everything on the Crazy Essentials website, use my code GLAM, capital G-L-A-M, and it's 20% back. For highlight, I'm using the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop highlight in the shade Boomin. I am going to be lining my lips with the MAC Plum Lip Liner and then filling it in with Nime Beauty's Lavish Liquid Lipstick in the shade Coco. So guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed seeing me create this. I really love how it came together. I was a little nervous when I started putting that brown down, but we worked it out, we figured it out. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please make sure that you like this video, hit the thumbs up button so that I know that this is the content that you are coming here for. And so that YouTube knows that you like what you are seeing. If you don't interact, then my content will not get pushed to you as frequently. And then all of a sudden one day it will stop. So uh, make sure that you thumbs up this video if you like what you're seeing. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I love being able to build this community so that we can have like-minded individuals, you know, people who love makeup and who love to put on super wearable looks. We have beginners, intermediates, and advanced that watch this channel. And I'm really glad that you guys decided that you want to join this community. Be sure to hit the bell, put that notification on so that you can be part of the bang bang notification gang. You will know exactly when it is that I upload. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Glamazon1026 and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.